This is Johnny Tactical. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of manual breaching. In my video, The Key to the City, which covers how to make a mini pry bar, I had a lot of questions about how to use that pry bar and how, how it relates to manual breaching. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover the Halligan, the Ram, and the mini pry bar. You don't have to be a Johnny Tactical Handyman to make this door or this Ram. The plans will be available on my website, so just hop over there, check that out. All right, I built this training door just for this video. It's a door that you can breach again and again and again. And I also made a training ram just using PVC piping and sand. It's very comparable to popular rams that you might see for sale or around your PD. If you've seen a training door at um, gun ranges or PDs or SWAT training or whatever, they're usually big steel frame doors that are very, very expensive for the department. They're very heavy to maneuver. This door and the Ram I made for less than $200, all from stuff I could get at my local hardware store, Home Cheapo. The plans to make the door and the Ram will be available on my website. Okay, the first step is when you approach a door is you have to read the door. What that means is, does it open inward or outward? Is the knob on the right or the left? The main way to tell which way a door opens is you look for the hinges. So if you can see on this door here, no hinges are visible, okay? That means the hinges are on the other side. If the hinges are on the in inside, it opens in. If the hinges on the outside, it opens out. So this here is an inward opening door. All right, so after you read the door, next step is just try the knob because the door may not be locked and all you have to do is turn the knob and open the door and that's of course the easiest way to breach it. Step three is position your body. Now what's important about this and what I've seen officers do live and I've seen plenty of YouTube videos and other uh, body camera videos where officers are actually positioning themselves incorrectly on where they're standing when they're breaching the door. When you ram a door, you don't want to be standing on the knob side. The reason is, my momentum with the ram is gonna carry my arm and my wrist forward and I can break my wrist just with the sheer momentum on the door frame. So I do not want to be standing on the knob side of the door when ramming, ever. Which means I'm gonna stand on the hinge side of the door, which means I'm gonna be on this side of the knob. So that's your body position. Okay, so we read the door, we tried the knob, we position our body. Next step is we're gonna foot the door. All that means is I'm gonna apply pressure with my foot at the bottom of the door. I'm gonna kind of step on the door. And what that does is it takes any slack that exists in the door. Some doors have a little bit of wiggle. So what you wanna do is take the slack out of the door. So all the energy from the ram is going to go straight into the door to force it open. So once you have your body in position, you're footing the door, then you're going to square your shoulders, hips, knees, feet to the door. You wanna be square to the door and you're gonna drive forward, drive the ram forward with your with your core, your hips, your pelvis, your thighs. That's what the power is. The power is not in the arms. It's all with the core driving straight forward. And once you strike the door, if it doesn't open the first time, repeat as necessary. If you can hear that squawking in the background, that's just one of my YouTube haters. They just came by to make fun of me while I try to record a video to get me to screw up, so just ignore it. All right, so now I'll walk you through all the steps. So step one, Read the door. I don't see the hinges. The hinges on the inside. That means inward opening equals ram. Step two, I'm just gonna try the knob. I'm gonna pretend it's locked. So I got my handy dandy ram. Body position. I am not, repeat, I am not going to stand on the knob side of the door. Bad. I'm gonna stand on the hinge side of the door. Position my body. That means hip, shoulders, feet, knees square to the door, and then I foot the door. I'm applying pressure to the door to take the slack out of it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is where am I gonna hit this thing? I wanna hit as close to the locking mechanism as possible. So when I'm reading the door initially, what I also should have added was, not only am I looking for hinges, I'm looking for locks. Some doors have deadbolts up high or just a knob lock. If you've got a deadbolt and a knob, 
you want to target somewhere in between the two. In this case, there's just the knob, so I want to strike as close to the knob as possible. You want all the energy as close to the locking mechanism as possible. Once again, square it to the door, foot the door, shoulders, hips, feet, knees, square to the door, and I'm going to drive with my hips. Try not to be distracted by my amazing glutes. Successful breach. Okay, so now we're going to talk about outward opening doors. How do we know it's outward opening? We have to read the door. Where are the hinges? The hinges are on the outside. That means the door opens outward. Outward opening doors require a prying tool. In this case, we'll demonstrate with a Halligan tool. Okay, this is a tactical Halligan tool. Um, it's what was available to me today. It's not what you typically see, like a firefighter carrying. Uh, this one is okay, but honestly, I hate to admit it, but the firefighter's one is better. This is the ads end, or like the duck bill. This is the pike, and these are the forks. They do different things for different designs for different jobs, but we're only gonna talk about the ads end here today. Um, the firefighter's one has a curved bill, which is actually good for going in between the door and the frame and curling around the back side of the door to get a really good purchase on the door. And essentially it's designed like a wedge. All right, here we go. We're gonna walk right through this. We're going to read the door. Hinges on the outside. No deadbolt, knob lock only. That means I need to pry. We're gonna seat the Halligan, whether by pushing, hitting, striking, or using a ram. Seat this, keep it close to the body. I'm gonna rotate out to pop the door. All right, one word of note is when this is being seated, if you have to use a ram or a sledge, Make sure your fingers are not curled around the bar because they can get squashed between the bar and the door. So you want fingers up. And you're just gonna hold it there. Just tell them to seat, seat, seat. When it's in really well, tell them to stop. Now I'm gonna keep the bar close to my body and use my body to pry away and get the door open. I don't wanna be out here pulling on it like this because that is not a strong body position. You want to be in close, square to the door, and you can use your feet, knees, and hips to pull and pry this door open. All right, so if you've got to be stealthy and be quiet, you don't want to be striking the Halligan to seat it, what I can do is I can prep and create space using the mini pry bar, which you can learn more about in my video, The Key to the City. I can start this and just, this is just gonna create space for my Halley. Take this out. Now my Halligan is seated quite well. I already have almost a complete clearance of the lock. Now it's gonna require minimal, minimal effort to get this door open. So, one last thing, the mini pry bar, you know, you can use it on its own, but it's best to uh, help other prying tools get the purchase they need to open the door. So Halligan is one example, the Agora tool, which is a hydraulic tool, is another. And just also understand the make of the door. This is an aluminum door on a wood frame. There's a lot more give. If you have a metal door, metal frame on a concrete building, honestly, you're gonna need something more than manual breaching, most likely. But these tools will get you through most doors, especially doors on wooden frames. All right, now the mini pry bar is good for your basic doors. And I can attack the lock just from here, and I, all I'm gonna do is walk it. And you can see how much th just this little bar can do with getting um, this wood to bend and move. That's it. Okay, now we're on the other side of the door, so this door is now inward opening. Again, no deadbolt, knob lock only. I have to get my tool between the furring strip of the trim and the door itself, and I'm gonna walk it in. And now you can see I got plenty of leverage here, and I just keep working. Again, this is just 
manual breaching basics. It's not the be all end all. It's not a master class. It doesn't address every single issue, but I hope you did find it helpful in how to use the Ram, the Halligan, how to read doors and how to get basic doors open. I appreciate it if you like my channel, subscribe, and also you can follow me on social media. And don't forget, check out my website where you can get plans to build a breaching door of your own, as well as a training ram for you, yourself, your department. I'll do it one more time. Uh, the tool, uh, <laughs> hold on, okay. What did you call it? What was I? What was I? Oh my goodness!